my coach is doing radio. He's got a lot of guys. Questions? I just talked about your game. We've heard you had a great camp. Talk about coming out and performing. Um. It's not much to say, you know, I had a great camp. I worked hard in camp. I just had to execute what I've been doing all camp. That's all I did. How did it feel to, to pay off, you know, on the game field, all the work? Oh, it felt great. It's uh, no greater feeling just to go out there and just show what I've been working on this whole summer and off-season training. Guy, do you feel like you guys kind of made a mistake when you're doing like that? Um... I feel like we came we we've done what we've done all summer. I feel like we just we just executed like we always have. I feel like it's not necessarily a statement, but we did what we had to. Got a new name, a new number, any other changes coming? Uh new hair. New hair. <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> did you think since it worked for Copeland last year, why not try it yourself with the hair? Uh, <laughs> No, uh, me and him talked about it. Uh, I did come into college with a mohawk, and then I was like, you know what? Let me dye it too. Let's see. What, let's see what happens. Kind of times it looked easy. And did it feel easy? It just there were times you guys were rolling in such a way that it almost seemed like you were for whatever you wanted. Uh, yeah, it, it felt like practice. Like it just felt like what we were doing all week through ca all camp. It just felt very easy, executing that good. Um, uh, Dela Cruz is my dad's last name. I've lived with my dad, but it was a mix-up when I was younger with my mom. So I just always wanted to change it, and I decided to change it to my dad's. Name? Yes, my dad's name. Do you have more space uh, today than you have in practice? What do you mean? To catch the ball. Um, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, felt, I felt wide open. <laughs> Um, it just took me a while to get the mental aspect of the game, to understand the playbook. Um, I feel like I feel like a quarterback out there, like I know everything that's going on. I know what the safeties are doing, the linemen. I know everything that's going on, every position. So it helps me to play faster and understand understand the game better. You said you felt wide open. What's it like to know that if you guys are open, uh, Teddy's going to put it on you? Oh, it's great. <laughs> I know Teddy's going to be on the money like 95% of the time, so it just feels good. You talk about Teddy and what he did today just you know, as a receiver. What does he do that makes it easier for you to catch balls? And what makes him so good? Uh, what makes Teddy so good is he's like our offensive corner out there. He knows everything. When I say I know everything, he knows more than me. So it's just incredible how, like, he just – he's like – such a great student of the game, and it just helps us all out. For you, what did it feel like getting in zone for the first time, and then you did it again? Um, it felt great. I, I love it. I hope I keep doing it. Um, but, yeah, it felt good. What kind of a combo are you and then Cup living together? I mean, it was a cool to have both of you guys have a um, I don't know what kind of combo we are. We, you know, we're good friends. It's who I'm with all the time. It's me, him, and JD all the time, so. Feels good to be out there with him finally. How has playing along guys like Devontae, Eli, and Damian helped you out? Uh, it's actually great because what it did is build a lot of competition in the wide receiver room. And that's what our coaches talk about all the time. And we love competition. I love going against Devontae, me and him. Who has We have a drop chart. We always see who's the best receiver every week. So it's fun. Who's the best receiver? Uh, this week, I don't know. It was, it was close. We were all like 98%. So. <laughs>